Hey pals, it's Sassy Cassie, and welcome back to another reaction video of Naruto Shippuden. As always, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and anyone watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and continuing to follow me on this strange shinobi journey. <laughs> I would also like to give a very special thank you to my patrons. Previously on Naruto Shippuden, Sasuke is still collecting his team. We have gone to the northern hideout, I believe, to get this Jugo person who was the originator of the serum, and that is pretty much the most important detail that we learned in the last episode. I don't really know what else there is to say. I mean, the shark tooth guy, whose name I will eventually remember, but he seems like my favorite in this group so far. If I could already pick a favorite here, he just seems very chill, even though he probably has like, you know, the dangerous side to him or whatever. The redhead girl, she already annoys me. I just hope that I get proven wrong because... Yeah. <laughs> and this Jugo guy, I'm interested to know, because he seemed to be a big fan of, um, oh, what was it? Is it Kimimaru, I believe? So obviously there's a past there. Anyway, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I feel like I'm walking around in circles, which I probably am, or at least talking in circles. So let's get into this episode. Still, it's pretty impressive you can pull off a partial transformation like that. You know, you're pretty good at using the curse mark. I haven't seen a copycat this good since Kimimaro. Hmm, I was right. His name was Kimimaro. The only reason I'm here is to talk to you, Jugo. To talk? Does That's he right, want Jugo. to talk? I came to take you out of here. You're gonna get me out of here. <laughs> he doesn't want to leave, I don't think. I can never leave this place. Mm. Now do you understand me? Interesting uh, animation here. Really cool looking. Ah, uh, and then they bring in this music. He's gonna attack a village or whatever. Did Kimimaru, like, save him or whatever? And that's why he respects him or whatever this is? Because he can't control it. Mm. So in many ways, he seems scared of his own power. At least he was then. Hey there. Oh, that's so sad. He's a gentle soul. Hmm. So I wonder if he's still a gentle soul on the inside or not. Interesting. Hey kid, don't go that way. If you value your life at all, don't go any further down that road, got it? An evil demon lives down that way. Mmm. Did he choose to live in the forest to, uh... Mmm. ...village over there. He did that years ago. People are still afraid to live there. No one that I've Why do you still farm out there, then? ...and come back alive. I'm telling you, for your own good. Maybe they purposely seeked him out. Sought him out? Soak him out. Sought him out. Well, well. You followed me home, huh? Sorry, little guy. You can't come in. You can never come inside here. Now go on. Get out of here. Come on, go back home. Mm. He tries to live a peaceful life. My dog's gonna turn right back around. With the eerie music too. Ugh. I'll kill anyone who comes in here. Now go. Oh, 
for a little doggy. Let the animals know you're a nice person on the inside. Let me guess. He tried to kill him. And it failed. Did he, did he just locks himself? Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to think or to feel at this moment. He doesn't want to do that. He doesn't want to kill anyone. Or at least it seems that way. He seems it's unnecessary, especially because the only person he feel really is worthy of death is his brother. <sighs> Followed your directions. Listen, I really resent that accusation. What would be the point anyway? Not an accusation. It's the truth. You like that? It is Why, you'd get the to truth. Be alone with Sasuke, mm -hmm. isn't that what? right? Um, mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Lies and slander. You said Jugo actually came to Orochimaru of his own free will? Yeah. But why? Because of Hinimaru. Probably. Get fixed? Mm. To Jugo, Orochimaru's hideout is probably like some kind of rehabilitation facility where he can get better. But what mm. his bipolar. Alright. Forgot about this, uh power of his whatever it's called I'm impressed you're very strong bloodline thing thought you were going to get me who are you why are you here also there's no way he could stand up straight without a spine uh gotta love anime logic there's no telling when I'll try to kill the people around me no you can't kill me I'm not as weak as that you're not you mean you're not afraid of me no, Jugo. Not at all. <coughs> nah, I was his first friend. Troll, then I'll be your cage. I wonder how he came about this curse mark, though. The disease I carry is slowly eating away my body. Mm, right, 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 right. It works. It could slow the disease's progress indefinitely. The only thing I can think of is that this curse mark does not originate with him, but it just feels like because they already set at him. <sighs> It'll get the explained. Best friends, after all. Oh, best friend. Friendship. I'm absolutely sure there's no way your power would reject me. Uh... Why? Why did you die and leave me all alone? Yeah, because he chose that. I mean, he kind of did, but not really. He was already dying. The thing you say is going to get through to him. The only thing he understands is force. Stop it, both of you. No, don't stop. Kill each other off. Yeah, so you can have Sasuke all to yourself. Do you both want me to kill you? Is that it? Mm, interesting. He has a white snake. Thing going on as well. I have questions about that. Is he like the new white snake? Was he always like that? I mean you no harm. I only came to free you. Please come out and join me. I think he's too frightened. Yeah, You're he's wrong. frightened of what he'll That's do. Not it at all. What is I it then, pray tell? Exactly what I just said. That's what I just said. But please, redheaded girl, tell us. I don't think Jugo's gonna work out, Sasuke. We're constantly gonna have to watch our backs around him in case he mm. starts to lose control. But he, if he oh, is, are you people anyway? I just want to be left alone. If he is the source of the curse mark, though, maybe he can help them. My goal is to retrieve him. Could he really be worth risking your own life for? 
Sasuke Uchiha and I are the only ones worthy of becoming a vessel for Lord Orochimaru. In a way, Sasuke is like my reincarnation. Mm, so he's gonna follow him because of that. Self to retrieve him. I'm very grateful to you, Jugo. Your strength has made me even stronger than before. All right then, Jugo. I'll be back soon. And then he never came back. Or the person that opened the door next was Sasuke. Good. Now that I've gathered my perfect We're team. Going to learn the plan now. <sighs> or they're just not going to tell us until later. My ultimate goal is to kill Itachi Uchiha of the Akatsuki. Right. I thought you were going to say that. Itachi. And he needs a team for that? That. Just be honest and tell the truth, would you? The only thing you're really interested in is being around Sasuke, isn't that right? What? No, that's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous how ridiculous that is. <laughs> it's ridiculously ridiculous. <laughs> you know about how long ago you wanted <laughs> so you get to don't get cutting worked up didn't i tell you to try to get along all right i will yeah she did just destroy his head though until i can locate one of the seven hidden mist blades i'm on the hunt for kisame hoshigaki's giant sword the shark skin kisame Somehow. that's itachi's so partner right a bunch of big swords how boring Interesting. 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 So that's why I want to see what kind of shinobi you really are. With my own eyes. Then it's all set. I just... <laughs> the little Naruto should be the poster on the wall. Thank you. <laughs> if Orochimaru uh, is dead now, then why won't Sasuke come back? Because of his brother. I feel like Naruto, you already knew that. Then to find Sasuke, we need to hunt down that member of the Akatsuki first. We gotta find that guy quick. The Hebi has only one goal. So then, our target is Itachi Uchiha. Mm hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's not that I didn't think this was going to happen eventually because they're all theoretically after the Akatsuki, cause especially because, like, it's just a circle. Uh, like a snake eating itself. Just to finish that thought, because the Akatsuki are after Naruto. Well, at least tailed beasts or holders of the tailed beasts. People who have tailed beasts inside them. Jinchuriki, for short. And then Naruto, in a way, slash the Leaf Village, slash all villages are after the Akatsuki because they're up to no good but also naruto and the team want to get sasuke back and then sasuke's only focus is to get vengeance for his family by killing his brother again not that i didn't think this was all going to go in the same direction i don't know i don't know how to describe this feeling that i'm feeling <laughs> i guess i just like i do understand in a sense but like Sasuke was all like, I don't need you guys. And maybe because he doesn't see them as strong. I didn't see Naruto and Sakura or anybody in the Leaf Village as strong. And he sees these people as strong and having a purpose to what he needs to do. And I do get that from like a strategic standpoint. But at the same time, at what point did he think, ah, yes, I can't actually do this by myself. Or I'm going to be the strongest as can be, but like I still need help. I just, I know some of y'all probably are going to be in the comments and try to explain it to me, and that's fine. I just don't get it. I get it from a strategic standpoint, but I don't get it from, and I, that's probably all it is. It's probably just a strategic standpoint. My other question, can I just say, is that where does he plan to go after he gets his vengeance? Is he just going to, like, live alone in a mountainside or whatever? I mean, I know he eventually marries Sakura, but, like, at this point, he can't, I don't feel like he's seeing anything past that. 
That's his only goal that consumes his every thought, his whole entire being. And I do understand that, but like, it just, I guess it's just kind of sad that he doesn't see anything for his life beyond just getting that. And I do understand why. I do understand why that's like his whole personality, but like, anyway, I'm sure the comment section will be a field day. So <laughs> thank you all so much for watching and continuing to follow me on whatever kind of shinobi journey we are on. And until next time. Bye.